I show you guys welcome back to the channel I see you tarot so this is going to be a quick video for somebody here and if you don't have a nine to five job this video is not for you this is strictly for people who have a nine to five I'm getting a female here though so I'm getting that you could be like waiting on some type of promotion at work or something like waiting to be some type of supervisor some type of manager or a line lead you know i used to work at a lot of warehouse jobs so you might work at a warehouse where you wait on a position to be a line lead or something but i'm getting that you got some sneaky <laughs> deceptive friends that you have accumulated at work that's talking a lot of mess about you. You could have definitely, you could have told these people that you were very spiritual or that you like, you might be religious here, or you might be a Christian, you might be a Jehovah's Witness, you know, et cetera, et cetera, which, whichever you are. But there's something to do with your like, your God belief. And I'm getting that these people are sending you spiritual attacks. Like, they don't want you to be the boss over them. So whatever this position is, it's going to make you the boss over these people. And they know that you're, you've are you been working very hard for this position. And you've been going out with these friends at night, partying with them, drinking with them, going to get mimosas and stuff, going to lunch with them and stuff, doing lunch hour. So I'm getting a specifically a 30-minute lunch hour, a 30-minute lunch hour. So a lot, a lot of people got 15 minute or hour lunch hour. This is a 30 minute lunch hour for whoever this is. And the divine is like, the reason why this position has not came to you and the reason why you, you're full of anxiety right now, why you keep, like, you feel like you keep worrying or stressing and stuff, it's because of these people that you're hanging out with at work. They're sending you spiritual attacks. They know how confident you are. They know, and it's something about, them doing a lot of gossiping, talking about people, causing problems at work. And they know if you become the boss over them or over your section of people, the group of people, whichever field that you're in, or whatever, whatever like position in the, in the, in the, um, at this job that you're going to be over, they know that you're not going to tolerate any of that. Like you will fire them in a second. That's what I'm getting here. I just saying two, two, two. Like they can be very significant. So I'm just going to pull, oh, look at this freedom and envy. You know that they know that you are going to fire them. You're not going to tolerate any of their jealousy energy. Like you just, you're not going to tolerate it. And they already know this. So the divine is telling you the reason why you haven't got this position yet and the reason why you've been feeling so, so down and out is because you're hanging around people that's attacking you because they don't want you to be their boss. Look at that freedom just came out. <laughs> These people don't want you to be their boss. They don't. They trying to find a way to get you fired, baby. You have to let these people go. You have to recognize these people that you calling your friends at work that these are not your friends. These people don't mean you any type of good, any good at all, at all. They don't want you to be the boss. While you're going to get this position and, trying to, and, and, and get them fired or just let them go because you're going to be in that position to let them go, they're trying to find a way to let you go. They're telling lies about you. Whoever the boss is around you guys right now, they're telling these people all type of lies about you. Like, seriously, they're trying to cause a lot of conflict. Yeah, a lot of conflict at work so these people can let you go. So they won't see you as being this person that deserves this position when you do. You've been working very hard for this. And you just know that you deserve it. It's something that you was like, you feel called to be in this position somehow. You know, a lot of people want to be entrepreneurs and stuff, but not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. Like, you got some very good people out here, like such as yourself, that's meant to be in a nine to five position. But you can be an entrepreneur too. You know, you can do both. Yeah. Clarify this freedom. Look at that. We got the Empress. These people know. <laughs> they know when you become this boss, you're not going to play. And you're beautiful. They don't like the fact that you're so beautiful either. But it's more so to do with your energy. You sit in the energy of you don't play. Like, you're meant to be a boss. Literally. Whether that's an entrepreneur or being a manager of some kind. You're meant to be in this position. And you're choosing to do this at a 9 to 5 job. And they know this. They know that, you know... Something about this blue hair. Yeah, blue throat chakra. <laughs> Your voice. You don't clarify this empress. You're not gonna play with people. 
you're going to tell it exactly how it is. And if they don't like it, they can get the fuck on. We got the Knight of Pentacles here. That's slow moving energy. It's like you want people that actually want to come to work and work. That's what you want. People that know that they have a family to take care, of, take care of at the end of the day. Don't come to work with all that drama and stuff. These people are trying to find a way to get you fired. Give me a card on these individuals here. We got perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. They're trying to find a way to get you fired. And they're doing it by any means necessary. Crap by perseverance. Yep, we got the Queen of Wands. Mm. That's all, what I say. Some one of these women, oh, they're a witch. <laughs> one of these women are a witch. And they're doing some type of divination on you. They're sending you spiritual attacks. And this person can, you could possibly be a, a Libra or a Taurus. This person could possibly be uh, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Clarify this Queen of Wands. This person is trying to find a way to get you fired. Eight of Pentacles, what I say, this witch is behind the scenes try, and probably doing this at work too. Probably doing it as she's talking to you. This is a woman. These are women. I'm getting up to three women, three to five women, mainly three women, something about threes. And they're trying to find a way to get you fired. Look at that emperor at the bottom of the deck. They're trying to find a way to get you fired. They want, she won't, which one of these women in specifically want this position. And I feel like she's voiced this to you before. Like, 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 uh, like that key can, like, you know, well, you know, I was, I was supposed to do that, but I didn't want to do it. You know, something like that. Like, you just got to pay attention. You got to use your discernment here. God is warning you to use your discernment because it's not to say that you're not going to get the position if you know, you still at this job, but it's more so if you've been in communication, you need to release communication with these women because it's easier for them to send you these attacks and to manifest against you getting this position because they're in contact with you. Now, if you cut contact and you're still going to work, doing your thing, but you're not talking to them anymore, not partying, no texting, any of that then the energy is going to return right back to the ass. And if you don't get a chance to fire them once you become this boss, <laughs> the divine is going to fire the ass. You're going to find a way. That's what I'm getting here. The divine is going to find a way. Let's get one more in it out. Let's end it out. Abundance, baby, this position is you meant to be at the top. You're meant to be at the top of this position. And the divine is going to find a way. The divine is going to find a way. And one of the ways is through this message. Listen to your intuition. Who is it that you're around that don't want you to have this position? Who's making you feel funny? Why do you feel a certain? Why do you feel all of a sudden like you're so full of joy? You know, you're so enthusiastic. You know, so you're just so jolly. But next thing, next thing you know, you're down. These people are sending you spiritual attacks. Clarify this abundance. You have to use your intuition. The five of wands, I'm telling you, they're trying to cause a lot of chaos for you. Because they don't want you, they don't want you to have this position. They probably they probably trying to cause you to fight somebody too. They're probably trying to stir up some drama at work to cause somebody else to fight with you, sending text messages and stuff. Yeah, these people are judging you behind the scenes, sending you spiritual attacks, judging you behind the scenes. Yeah, somebody trying to cause some drama with you at work. Use your discernment. This is divine wants you to let you know. Use your discernment. Everybody at work is not your friend. Some of you should already know this. They go to work, do your job, and come home. Like seriously, especially when you work at a job. Like I'm sorry. Like if you, if you, you know, if you look like me and you watch this video, you already know how some of us are. You already know all of us are not here. All of us do not mean each other no good. And that's just. That's just the unfortunate truth. You know, everybody don't want to be in this abundant kumbaya energy. Everybody don't want that. So use your discernment here, babe. Get rid of these people because they're not your friend. I'll see you in this video. Mwah.